Using a slow cooker is one of the simplest ways to make a really great pulled pork. With just a little bit of prep time, you can get the pork into the slow cooker, turn it on, go to work, come home, and dinner's just about ready. In the Chow Test Kitchen, we make it with a few easy to find ingredients, and should you find yourself with any leftovers, they freeze really, really well. Picking the right cut of pork is really important. I like to use a four and a half to five pound pork shoulder. Sometimes you'll see it labeled as pork butt, Boston butt, or shoulder butt. I don't know why it's called butt since it's not from that area, it's actually from the top part of the shoulder. Pork shoulder works really well in a slow cooker because it has a lot of fat running through the meat and it needs a long cooking time at a low temperature. Don't try to use pork loin or pork tenderloin, I know you really want to, but the meat's just too lean and it's going to overcook and come out really dry. To start, you want to make a nice bed in the bottom of your slow cooker for your pork shoulder. I like to use two sliced onions, four sliced garlic cloves, and a cup of chicken broth. All of this will keep the meat nice and moist and add a ton of flavor. Next, you're gonna make a spice rub. Mix a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and half a teaspoon of cumin. Then you're gonna add a tablespoon of dark brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon to add a touch of sweetness to cut through all the richness of the pork. Take your pork shoulder out. There's probably gonna be a layer of fat on top. Just leave it alone. You can take it off when it's cooked. Then you wanna pat the pork shoulder dry and rub it all over with that spice mixture. Get it into all of the nooks and crannies and make sure you coat it in an even layer. Go ahead and put your pork shoulder right on top of the bed of onions and don't worry about browning it. It's really unnecessary and it'll save you a bunch of time. Turn on your slow cooker and just walk away. It'll take about six to eight hours on high or eight to 10 hours on low. Don't take the lid off while it's cooking. You're gonna let off heat and it's gonna take even longer. And if you're stuck at work, don't worry. The pork is almost impossible to overcook. It'll be fine hanging out in there for a few more hours. You'll know the pork is ready when you stick a fork into it and it just falls apart, and if there's a bone, it should slide out easily. Transfer the pork to a cutting board and shred the meat into bite-sized pieces with two forks. Throw away the bone and any large pieces of fat. Next, strain the onions and garlic from the cooking liquid and add it back to the pork. They've absorbed a lot of flavor and it's just a shame to throw them away. Next, you have two options. If you wanna use the pulled pork in tacos, burritos, nachos, or maybe with cornbread and salad for a simple dinner, you just need to add back a little bit of the cooking liquid. Just make sure you spoon the fat off first and add a little bit at a time until it's nice and moist. The second option, which is my personal favorite, is to add two cups of barbecue sauce instead of the cooking liquid to make barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. This pork is tender, juicy, nice and savory, and the best part is you didn't have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen making it. And that's it, the easiest way to make pork in a slow cooker.